I mean, NVIDIA's entire culture is designed from the bottom up to do this. There's this recent book, The NVIDIA Way by Take Him, that details this and they're how they look for future opportunities and ready their CUDA software libraries to make it so that new applications of high-performance computing can very rapidly be evolved on CUDA and NVIDIA chips. And that is entirely different than Google as a services business. Yeah, I mean, NVIDIA... It should be said is a truly special company. Like I mean, they the whole, the culture, the everything. They're really optimized for that kind of thing. Speaking of which, is there somebody that can even challenge Nvidia hardware wise? Um, Intel, AMD. I I really don't think so. We went through a like a very long process of uh, working with AMD on training on their GPUs and inference and stuff. And they're they're decent. Their hardware is better in many ways than in AM, NVIDIA's. Uh, the problem is their software is really bad. And I think they're they're getting better, right? They're getting better faster, but they're just, the gulf is so large. Um, and like, they don't spend enough resources on it or haven't historically, right? Maybe they're changing their tune now, but, you know, for, for, for multiple months, we were submitting the most bugs, right? Like, us, semi-analysis, mm-hmm. right? Like, what the fuck? Like, why are we submitting the most bugs, right? Because they only, and they, they only cared about their like biggest customers. And so they'd ship them a private image, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, but like, I am just using PyTorch and I want to use the publicly available mm-hmm. libraries and like, yeah. you don't care about that, right? So they're they're getting better. Um, but like, I think AMD is not possible. Intel's obviously in dire straits right now um, and needs to be saved somehow. Uh, very important for national security, for American you know, can you technology explain, elements. Can you explain the obviously? So what, why are they in dire straits? Going back to earlier, only three companies can R&D, right? Yeah. Taiwan, Sinshu, uh, Samsung, uh, Pyongyang, and then Intel H- Hillsboro. Samsung's doing horribly, Intel's doing horribly. We could be in a world where there's only one company that can do R&D, and that one company already manufactures most of the chips. They've been gaining market share anyways, but like that's that's a critical thing, right? So what happens to Taiwan means the rest of the world's semiconductor industry and therefore tech relies on Taiwan, mm-hmm. right? Um, and that's obviously precarious. Um, as far as like Intel, they've been slowly, steadily d- d- declining. They they were on top of servers and PCs, but now Apple's done the M1 and Nvidia's releasing a PC chip and Qualcomm's releasing a PC chip. And in servers, hyperscalers are all mo- making their own ARM-based uh, server chips. And Intel has no AI silicon uh, like wins, right? They have very small wins. Um, and, and they never got into mobile because they said no to the iPhone. And like all these things have compounded and they've lost their process technology leadership, right? They were ahead for 20 years and now they're behind by at least a couple years, right? And they're trying to catch back up and we'll see if like their 18A, 14A strategy works out where they try and leapfrog TSMC. Um, but like, and Intel is just like losing tons of money anyways, right? And they just fired their CEO, even though the CEO was the only person who understood the company well, right? We'll see. Uh, he was not the best, but he was pretty good relatively, Technical guy. Where, where does Intel make most of its money? The CPUs, though. Right? PCs and data center CPUs, yeah. But okay. data center CPUs are all going cloud. And Amazon, Microsoft, Google are making ARM based CPUs. Uh, and then uh, PC side, AMD's gained market share. NVIDIA's launching a chip. That's not going to be a success, right? MediaTek, Qualcomm have launched chips. Apple's doing well, right? Like they could get squeezed a little bit in PC. Although PC generally, I imagine, will just stick Intel mostly for Windows side. 